Hi, I'm Drew, and we're here in my sewing room. If you follow me on social media, you know that it's under renovation. It is not quite completed yet, but we are definitely getting there, and I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for a sewing room tour coming very, very soon. It's just a few um, more items that I'm waiting on to be completely finished. It has been a fun process, but it is a lot of work, not even just the assembly of furniture but the organization part and not even realizing just how much you have until you're going through it so today i thought i'd do a cozy quick little video um, i'm shooting at night which i usually try to shoot during the day just because of the natural light so i'm not sure how this is gonna look but we're gonna give it a try so today what i'm doing is actually a vintage sewing pattern haul if you have been here before you know that i have recently set a budget for myself where I only spend $200 a month, and then I do a video um, showing what I spent to hold myself accountable. The renovations, they're a gift for my husband, so they're definitely not going to count um, within that $200 budget. And these patterns I have purchased over the past two or three months, so they definitely don't count in that budget as well. I will do a video um, later on this month showing what I spent that $200 on, so stay tuned for that. So previously, when I first started doing um, these haul videos, I would show you guys tons of patterns I picked up and tons of fabric, and I'd go over all these lofty goals and plans that I had, um, and it would just never fall through. Now that I've been sewing longer, I know more um, what I'm capable of, like how much I can get done in a month, and I'm also learning more about what fabrics work better with um, what pattern, and so I think I'm at the point where I can make more realistic plans. So I was thinking of doing sewing plan videos where I show just what I'm going to do for that month or maybe even that month and the next. So if that's something you guys would be into, then please let me know. And I will definitely film that for you guys as well. Yes. Oh, and, oh, and then if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I specialize in, well, no, I do not specialize. On this channel, I focus on sewing garments from authentic vintage sewing patterns. I'm a very new seamstress and it's just my journey along the way. Um, people have told me that they learn things here, which always surprises me, but um, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of people starting to join us and so I'm super excited for that and um, I'm super excited for all of you who are here watching. I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's allergies or just um, pure exhaustion. Um, while I'm renovating my sewing room, I'm doing all the spring cleaning in my house as well. So I could just be really tired. But it's been like this for like a week. It's, it's not getting any better. So <laughs> please bear with me. Let's, let's, let's go through the patterns. Okay. So all of these are from eBay. I have picked up a few patterns from Angela Clayton's channel, um, the Counted and Curated that she has over on Etsy. They haven't all arrived yet, and so when they do, I'm probably going to post those over on my social media. So be sure to follow me there at So So Drew. Um, I'll leave a link or something up here, or maybe it'll be in the description box or whatever. Um, some of the sellers of these patterns are, are just really, really awesome. I love their shipping and packaging, and I'm going to list those in the description box as well, just because they're sellers that I trust. Yes, so here we have Advanced 8520, and I have this in a size 16, a blouse. So it's a dress that could be made into separates as well. I've never really seen anything like this, but I thought um, the pattern was super cute, and I like the fit of the slim skirt. It's so funny how I thought I was only into the 50s silhouette, um, 50s and 60s with like the big full skirts, and um, now I'm discovering that I really like the 40s um, and the 30s, <laughs> so the whole thing. Um, this, I'm not sure what I'm going to be making this, but I just thought I would grab it. It was only $9.95, so I thought, why not? Something I have noticed about eBay is the prices are way lower than Etsy. Way lower. And a lot of times they'll have or best offer. You can make them an offer. Or when you're doing the, the auctions, you can get really, really, really good deals. A McCall skirt pattern. I was so drawn to this because of these pockets. Of course, we're all into pockets. But it just looks so different. 
and I just really like them and I like the slim fit of the skirt and it looked like something that I could make up super easy and super quick. So that's why I grabbed this one and I got it in a waist 32. So then I have, I've noticed that I have not made very many blouses at all. Um, I just recently made my first blouse that wasn't a crop top, which is so bizarre because it's not like I just wear crop tops all the time, but that was a thing, I guess. And so I just recently made um, my first blouse that was not a crop top. And so I thought I would get some more blouse patterns. And so that's what I have here. This is McCall's 3973. And I got this in a bus 38, which is a size 18. And I believe this to be a 1950s as well. But I'm guessing that it's a 50s pattern. Um, a lot of you guys who watch actually know more than me. So if you know um, the date on this pattern, you can share it in the, the comment box below. I love this boat neck silhouette. It's always been one of my favorite necklines. Whether it's vintage or modern or whatever, I just really love the shape of this. I love that this blouse has this little tie option. Um, I just love this. I think this will definitely come in handy this summer for making up some blouses. Pattern. Um, it is a Vogue pattern, 5090. Everyone I'm guessing it's a 50s or something. Um, it looks about right. This is super cute. I love that I have the different sleeve options. So this next pattern is a Vogue pattern as well, and it is, I don't know if you call this a vest or a shirt waist. I'm not sure exactly um, what to call it. If you know, feel free to leave it. I've been super into lately things that look modern and vintage or can be made to look historical all at the same time. And I just really felt like this was, this vest was that. And it was super simple to make. It is literally two pieces a front and a back and so i'm definitely excited for this i um already have like different ideas in my mind of how to make it a super casual one or how to dress it up or just different things that can be done with that and these are the things that i'm learning as i gain more experience in just sewing when i look at a pattern i start to see just like all the potential as far as am i wearing a day or am i wearing at night or you know what can i do with the buttons or all of those things. And so as those skills are developing, I'm getting super excited with um, my sewing. I don't know how I feel about this, uh, me standing up or whatever, I don't know. As I get this room figured out, we'll kind of figure out what layout works best. Okay, my throat, and it, it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just like effort to talk. This next one is my absolute favorite it's a size 16 and the bus is 34 i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to do a full bus adjustment which everyone has been telling me is something that i definitely need to learn to do anyway so this is an advanced pattern and it is the cutest dress i just love these ties up here i love the deep the v but how it sits off the shoulder and so I am really, 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 really excited for this. This will probably um, be one that I do very soon. I haven't made any um, like recent sewing plans. I, I don't know what's next. And so um, going through these patterns with you guys is going to help me kind of figure that out. So our next pattern is a Butterick pattern. And this is another one. This is another size 16. So I'm definitely going to need to do a full bust adjustment again on this one. But I've noticed that in some of the vintage patterns, I'm a 16 and some I'm 18. I just never really know until we're there. And so, I, um, yeah, that's, I guess, the point of a mock-up, which I'm definitely going to start doing. Is I really, 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 really love this pattern. This loop neck jumper dips to a V and buttons in back. Close it with a slim or circular skirt. Wear it alone with a lantern sleeve blouse or a sleeveless dicky blouse. And I'm not sure what a dicky blouse is, but I've been hearing a lot about them as I'm reading into vintage fashion. And so um, I'm guessing that's just the shape of that is why they're calling it a dicky blouse. So I really, 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 really love this pattern as well. Not sure when it's coming, but it's definitely, definitely on the list. Next one we have is McCall 7646. And I really love this pattern. I love the yoke, I guess is this is called, and how I could 
um, choose to put a different fabric there or lace there or just do something I haven't done before. So I'm excited for, so I was very excited when I seen this pattern, um, just for the possibilities of doing something I hadn't done before. It's a McCall's pattern. I just was really attracted to the, the cover art here and um, how one of these is like has a sheer overlay. These are things that I haven't done before. And so um, at some point I will attempt, you know, who knows when I'll get to this, these patterns. As I've learned, I'm capable of maybe um, three makes a month. So, you know, when you're talking 20 something patterns, you know, you're looking at like a year. So I'm gonna have to sit down and just like really choose wisely where I want to go, um, where my skill level is at and um, some of the things I wanna try and what I think I can accomplish. Some things I want to put off for a little bit later when I have acquired the skills that it takes to make and I know that they can come out um, to the best of my ability. So, yes, I really did love this. Um, they were calling it like a sorry, which I didn't understand what they meant. You know, I, when I hear sorry, I think of an uh, Indian type gown. So I'm not quite sure, but it says, sorry type dress with camisole top and four gore slim skirt and two limbs, entire dresses lined, left side zipper placket, long skirt has slash and short skirt has insets and inverted pleat at center front. When sari is used, border form, forms trim and bodice and skirt. When fabric is used, trimming is applied, applied ribbon. So I don't know. So, I mean, if any anybody watching these, if you have any tips or tricks or just any insight you want to provide me for a certain pattern, I would definitely appreciate that before I went in because a lot of these um, are just a bit out of my, my skill range. So any tips, any tricks for any of these patterns, please feel free to share. Um, but yes, I, did, I really just love the cover art and the way that looks. I want to try and give all of the vintage brands a try at some point just so I can kind of see the differences and see what I like and what I don't like and kind of compare and contrast which is um, easier or um, most difficult to follow. And so, um, yeah, this is just two dresses. They look very similar to me on the cover art. Um, oh, I just, one just has a square neck and one has this little collar piece. But um, yeah, there's a lot of pieces in here, so. I always look to see like for the year it's never on the outside it's sometimes they're um, inside in the instructions so a lot of things I haven't opened yet we'll see this was actually one that just arrived like I said this is this one was $45 the one I paid the most for but I was thinking about doing something really really great and fancy with this so I'm not quite sure what yet. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know in the comment box below for the Hollywood pattern number 1032. I love a, four, a floor length skirt like this. And um, the way the jacket closes, I could picture some su super fancy clasps there. Um, I'm thinking I want to make this like a project project, like where I use really great fabric, really good accessories and just like really take my time and do it very well. So um, that's why I was willing to pay $45 for this. Um, but I think it could be great. So any tips for or ideas for this being my project project, feel free to let me know. Advanced pattern, which is for just like a basic sundress. It's one of the ones with all of the different pieces, the gores, I'm pretty sure it's called. And so um, I really like those because I love how they like swish and move. It's, they seem to come out a lot different versus if the skirt were just cut. Um, so, yep, little summer dress. It also has a little jacket included in the pattern. So that's what attracted me most to this. And 5190. This one I really, 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 really love. I've actually already started working on the jacket and the skirt. I posted this over all my Instagram when I first got it because I was just so excited and I'm doing it in a very very modern fabric and so I'm excited it's gonna be like Jackie O meets 
Cardi B, if that is like literally a thing that could ever happen, but that's what it's going to be. And so I'm super excited for it. It's um, Simplicity 3850, and I'm doing the jacket and the dress. Okay, and then this is another one that I just got and I posted it over on my social media because I had never seen the pattern envelopes come that big and I was left a lot of information in the comment section about, yeah, this is the thing and this is how um, the, the simplicity printed patterns came for a short while. Um, I really like this dress. I've tried a dress before where I struggled with the ruching or the gathering on it. And I learned it was because I had used some fabric that was just too heavy to drape the way that it should. So knowing that now I'm um, anxious to try a dress with the gathering and, or ruching again. So I'm super excited for this one. Don't know when I'll get to it, but um, I'm very excited for it. Okay, so the last two patterns are baby girl patterns. I cannot believe I'm just now buying vintage patterns for my daughter. And so I was hoping to have made her um, Easter dress coming up, but I didn't get around to it. So that was that. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely going forward, um, she is going to be starting preschool in the fall for a couple days a week. And so you will see her first day of school picture, most likely wearing this. That adorable, the little, the suspenders and the vest, the vest or the shirt waist or whatever it's called. It's called, it reminded me so much of the, let me find it. Yes, it reminded me so much of the one I had. I thought I could make us a matching one. So I thought that um, it would be really cool to kind of make matching ones. So I thought that was super cool. So yes, whenever my daughter um, starts uh, preschool for a few days in the fall, she'll definitely be wearing homemade clothing. And then this one is the cutest little cape you ever seen. So um, definitely for fall and special occasions, she'll be um, wearing a few of these um, that I made her. So yeah, that's it. These are the patterns I've bought over the past two or three months. Um, it was fun to show you guys because now that I'm on that strict budget, there will likely be no more hauls like this um, just for patterns unless I save up from one month to the next. So um, yeah, I was excited to show you guys that. Stay tuned for the budget video that should be coming in the middle of the month when I show what I spent April's $200 on. If you want to check out what I spent March's $200 on, I will link it right here, right now. I'm going to figure out the filming situation. Um, I might even just like um, film from couch. It just depends on um, what exactly I will be filming. So, but that's all of that said. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for being here. I'm almost to 2,000 of you. Um, I'm super appreciative. Uh, yes, thank you um, for watching. Please let me know in the comments which one of these patterns is your favorite, which one you would want to see come first, and also any tips or tricks or ideas that you have for these patterns. So, yeah, thank you. I'll see you in my next video that is soon and short to come, and hopefully my voice is there. <laughs> thank you. Bye.